Tugboat workers have walked off the job at major ports across the country this morning as the dispute over a potential lockout escalates. Live to Trudy McIntosh in Canberra. Trudy, what's happened? Pete, Sky News can confirm that tugboat workers have followed through on their threat to have industrial action today as this bitter standoff with the nation's biggest tugboat operator, Switzer, only continues to escalate. The company, Switzer, earlier in the week made it clear it's planning to lock out workers from tomorrow at midday amid this dispute about pay and conditions. The Fair Work Commission this afternoon is going to hold a hearing to determine whether that lockout should be terminated altogether. But in the lead-up to that, as we wait, tugboat workers workers have already walked off the job. I can show you the ports that have been uh, impacted today. It's at least five major ports across the country. You can see here Newcastle uh, affected until midnight. Over in the west, Albany, Fremantle, Quinana, all impacted today with tugboaters, tugboat workers not operating. And in Sydney, whilst there's not a complete strike, there is a 24-hour ban on some customers being able to get access to tugboats. I've spoken to the port of Newcastle this morning. A spokesperson has told Sky News that this means no shipping will be able to go in or out of that port today. So the usual coal shipments that go out there will simply not be happening until we get a resolution. Now, this hearing is due to begin at 1pm by the independent workplace umpire to determine whether that lockout should, in fact, be terminated. If they can't reach a decision today, it will continue tomorrow morning. As we wait for that, though, here's the Shadow Home Affairs Minister, Karen Andrews. Ports are one of the areas that have always uh, been affected by significant industrial action over years. I don't know that the legislation that the government is trying to push through at the moment is going to have any impact whatsoever uh, in relation to that. And I am concerned that, in fact, the proposals by the government will make the industrial relations system work. Workplace Relations Minister Tony Burke has called the actions of the Spitzer bosses economic vandalism and blackmail. The potential consequences for the economy here quite big, Pete, if we do see this lockout take place tomorrow and this lingering impact yeah. of tugboat operators not being able to do their job. Yeah, and just uh, five or six weeks before Christmas. Not very good timing. Uh, thank you, Trudy. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon.